What is up, beautiful people? I was not planning on vlogging for a nice little minute, <laughs> to be very honest with you. But I ain't never had no flat tire on the highway before. Like, this is crazy. Um, I'm waiting on AAA. I, I'm well, not AAA, my roadside assistance. Um, I was on the highway. I'm, I'm safe now. I'm, on, I'm in like a strip mall area. But, um,. I just had to like wheel my little way off the highway because you know I don't know if you're from here, but in Houston, there's some pretty vicious tow people out. They wait for people like me to be in distress and be like, "Oh, we're with your company or with whatever the hell." And I've had a similar situation happen to me in that way, and I end up having to pay them, or my insurance had to pay them back or something. They tell you, oh, it's free, or they tell you, they lie and say they're with your insurance company. This guy, he didn't lie. He didn't say he didn't say he was with my insurance company. He said he's with the city of uh, Houston. And he told me that um, he would be able to tow my car to, um, to um, like, where I am now, like, off the highway for free. Or he could change my tire for free. I don't know this man. I don't know why he would do that for free. It may be true, but I've had, like I said, I've had bad experiences where I had to pay and then have my insurance company pay and like all this craziness. So um, he's like, oh, I'll go grab the paper for you right now. I'll show you. But you know, I'm really learning to trust myself and trust my emotions and my body. And um, everything in my body was saying, no, don't do that. And so I was like, oh, um, my roadside assistance is on their way. Um, I'd rather wait for them because I don't, you know, know who the hell you are. So this, this angers him. That's how I knew he wasn't who he said he was. Don't look at my trunk. I just had to clear it because I need to get my spare trunk, spare tire out the trunk. Anyway, mind your business. Um, <laughs> so this angered the man. And so this is how I knew that he was not uh, going to be a helpful and reliable person to my situation. So... I'm like, yeah, he's getting angry for no reason. So I was like raising my window up on him. And he's like, ma'am, I'm going to have to call the police because you can't be here. This is unsafe and this is dangerous. Um, you can't be on the side of the road. It's a hazard. And so I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll move my car myself. And he's like, um, you're going to move your car yourself? I was like, yes, thank you. And he's like, well, I'm going to call the police right now. I was like, okay, that's fine. Have a great day. And I'm like, <laughs> right, like raise the window up on him. And he's like so upset. And so he's like, he stays by my car. Like he could have went back to his truck. He stays by his car, his car, I mean my car with his phone, um, calling the police, I guess, and giving them my license plate number. But I'm like, I'm not doing anything wrong. So I proceed to pray my way and I'm I, meanwhile I'm still on the phone with my roadside assistance and the, the lady she's like a sister so she's like I feel you sis I feel you <laughs> she's like I understand those people are crooks so I'm like on the phone with her she's like are you safe I'm like I'm safe everybody was kind of cool because like I, I don't I don't think I told you guys it was five other cars that um got their tire flattened because there was a boulder in the road and I thought I missed it, but I guess I didn't. I clipped it right at the end. But um, so there were other cars there as well who, um, who blew that tire out from that boulder, and somebody ended up getting it out the road, which is like thankful because I was gonna, I was gonna try to do it. I don't know, but I just didn't want nobody else to bust their tire. But the guy, the tow guy, he was making his way around to everybody. It was some other people that fixed their own tires and like dipped because they already know. I'm like, oh, here they come. So yeah, so I had to pray and muster up and get off the exit luckily i was literally right by the exit so i just had to like scoop my way i was like teetering tottering and rocking <laughs> i um got my way off of the highway and i'm in this little strip mall here and so um the roadside assistance people just called me and they're like okay we're about to get off the exit now and help so this is crazy i can't afford this right now of course the roadside assistance is free but I'm going to be riding around with a spare, which means I need to get an actual new tire, and this is not in the budget right now. But God be providing, because I'm safe, I'm not hurt, I'm not damaged, I'm alive. <sighs> but, yeah, so I guess we vlog it. Ain't no saving this, this tire is sliced up, y'all. Sliced up. I've never experienced this before. Yay, help is here. It's probably 
change my tire. So I am back home right now. I'm going to try and clean out my car. I put some stuff in the house already. Um, I still got my church clothes on. I wanted to go to the one o'clock service, but the guy was saying that I need um, to go to like a tire store and get it like professionally um, tight. And if I'm gonna like ride around on my donut, which is not, the donut is actually not so bad. Like I'm looking at it, it's not like super far off from my actual tire. Hold on, let me check. It's not like super bad from my tire. And it's crazy because I was just talking about like getting new tires. Um, but I can't get all of them at the same time. It would probably be smart to do that, but this is not in the budget at all. But yeah, I'm gonna clean out my car. Oh, maybe I should open the door. Um, oh, come on. I have like a lot of randomness in my car. Um, I took my hangers and stuff out. And so now I need to get all these poles and random papers and stuff. This is all in the trunk, but my spare tire sits in my trunk underneath, so I have to move all this stuff. So, yeah, I'm about to do this, and I don't know what else I have planned for us. It's hot as balls out here, you guys. <laughs> I'm making some progress. Oh, I, I yanked my hair on the car. On the car door. Some poles and this box here because well, I usually be riding around with my car with my clothes in my car in my garment bag I left um, my best friend borrow my garment bag and I just dumped my clothes out so I'm folding them into this box and I got some accessories and random magazines in this bag and then I have to get to those shoes over there I have this <laughs> don't judge it I have this because I do like deliveries and stuff so I just keep this so I can hold um, drinks but it won't spill. But yeah. So I'm not even doing anything, y'all. I'm in the kitchen cleaning up a bit. I don't know what is happening, but I have this. I don't even know what this is on my face. It's not cute. Um, but I'm finna do one of my favorite things, <laughs> and that is to read menus. I really enjoy reading menus. I've been picking stuff up and I'm like, okay. When next time I have some time, I'm gonna read menus. So I'm finna do that real quick. I don't know why I'm weird. I'm not going to say I'm weird. I'm just going to share what piques my interest. But I really like reading the menus and like seeing how they describe the food and like what's in it, the ingredients. And it gets me really happy and excited, which is a problem um, because you want to eat, but you want to look good too and not gain weight. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I might watch the Emmys tonight. They come on so I might do that I really have been like trying to get the stuff out of my car and get stuff in order in here so I've been kind of cleaning still have on my dress from church I don't know why um, maybe because it's comfortable but I've been home for a, a nice little minute because it's already about to be six o'clock so yeah I'm gonna sit down for a minute and read my menu what is up beautiful people it is the next day uh, I went to get a new tire because I couldn't ride around on my donut my spare uh, so yay I got a new tire and I was able to afford it yay I was straight from my house so I didn't have far to go I was so nervous because that thing was so clicking. right now I'm going to take um, well actually I need to take um the clothes well I need to get gas first but then after that I need to take the clothes that I um, took out of my car and see if I can like sell them then after I see if I can sell them I'm gonna donate them um, I always do that y'all especially like the seasons like during the seasons take your clothes that you're not wearing for the next season or that you are done with try to see if you can get money for them um, and then if you can't then donate them um, I don't have a lot honestly because I, I don't have like a big purge out of the year like I purge throughout like I think this is now my seventh time purging so yeah and I still have this thing on my face it's shrank a little bit but I, I don't know what that is um but yeah so I'm gonna go to I went to um Buffalo Exchange before 
and I know that they have like a policy or something where you can't come. I have to look it up because if they give more money than Play-Dohs, Play-Dohs we plan. Um, if I can't go to Buffalo Exchange, I'm probably going to go to Play-Dohs and see if I can get rid of these clothes. Mm. Excuse me. So, yeah, so this gas right here is two fifty nine. I'm almost sure that I can find some cheaper gas. Um, so, I'm going to try to find some cheaper gas and then start busting my moves. I'm getting gas now. This gas was um, um, two thirty five. so a lot less than the other place. I thought I would get it cheaper than that, but whatever. I need gas, so um, I really want to get a car wash, but we shall see. Because I have, I don't know if I showed this before. Hold on. Somebody was doing something um, in my apartment complex and it's like paint on my car. And like it comes off, like, but you have to sit there and scrape it, individually scrape them um, and lightly scrape them so that you don't scratch the paint that's on the actual car. So, because um, we didn't have so many rainstorms and it hasn't come off. So, I need like the actual professional place i made it to play-dohs because it was literally on the way and i didn't have time to look and see if i could still turn stuff into buffalo i think whatever this swollen thing on my eye is getting bigger like somebody beat me up i don't know what's happening so they're sorting my stuff now we should see i don't think they're gonna take everything but it's worth a try it's cute yeah, it's really clean too to be clean, they're from Dolls Kill, but they are seven and a half, and it's like it's fit perfectly, but too perfect. One wrong step, and I'm out of these. So, I have since left, um, I've since left Play Doh's Closet. I didn't get a lot of money, but it is what it is. Um, I'm currently, I'm currently doing some, um, Uber Eats deliveries, and I just delivered. I need to look up the building, whatever building this is. Oh, it's the Lyric Tower. And it's so pretty. I've passed it a bunch of times, but I never came. And like the inside is completely like marbled out. Um, but let me show y'all. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway, I am in my um, office slash studio and trying to attempt to rearrange the furniture because I'm going to be moving in and living in this room um, come October. I don't even know when this vlog is going out, going out but um, yeah, so I'm trying to move it around. The room is big enough for me to fit my bed inside and everything plenty of space but i'm just trying to make sure that the placement makes sense um so i'm like trying to play around like this is where my photo setup situation was here um and i don't know if i should leave it there and put my bed on that wall or should i put my bed on this wall this wall so here is the the biggest wall in the room so i was thinking about putting the bed on that side but then I'm not totally sure I'm okay with that um, at first I was gonna have it here but I would have to put an extension cord because um, the way my bed is my headboard is a bookcase so um, they have to like put it against the wall like it has to be in installed against the wall and there's only one plug there so I have to have an extension cord to under here to be able to charge my phone so I was like, okay, no. And then I'm like, I don't want my bed head. This is the bathroom. I don't want my head right next to the bathroom. Um, so I was like, no. So maybe do it here. But then I was like, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I'm like, and my, my head is just like tangled up. Maybe here. Ignore my desks because I haven't cleared them off. So I was like, okay, maybe I can put my bed in the mid in the center here and do like a little bench situation on the sides. Or I don't know something and then do a vanity on this wall and then my bed here I don't know I don't know we should see. so um 
I was out doing some deliveries and I was like, I got this notification on Facebook that my favorite movie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, is showing at Axelrad. So, and um, one of my deliveries was over this way. So I was like, okay, we're gonna make a stop there. So I'm here now, I'm debating on whether or not to stop and get a bite of pizza from Luigi's. I'm not sure. And the one time I didn't have my light with me, I don't have anything, like no equipment or anything right now, because I didn't plan on coming, but I'm here. Clearly. Okay. 